At one point or another, maybe even now, you might be thinking, hey, I'm such a failure, I'm hopeless, maybe even worse, I'm not made for this world. You are not alone. We all go through it sometimes, even the most successful people. Everyone feels discouraged from time to time, but the point isn't to dwell on our negative feelings. Instead, we should see if there are ways we can overcome these feelings. Here's 10 tips to help you bounce back. 1. Think about what it is you want. Brainstorm a list of your goals, including the ones you've thrown away, even ones you've buried as far back as your childhood, that you hope to reach. Then, go through them and read them, thinking about when you first got inspired to pursue those goals and how you felt back then, and then let them drift through your mind for a short while. 2. Take small steps. After you've taken the time to sleep on it, Think of something small that you can do to spark your inspiration and motivation. Something manageable. The point of this is to regain control. It doesn't have to be directly related to your goals, as long as it's something you can do, even if you think it's insignificant or doesn't make sense. For example, you can clean your room, go for a jog, or just buy a gift for yourself. Anything that gives you a purpose and makes you feel like life is worth it. You're getting a reward based on an action taken. 3. Consult somebody. Once you hopefully feel slightly better about yourself, it's time to start working towards your goals. It can be overwhelming in the beginning when you're trying to take your first steps, since you might be unsure of what you have to do to actually fulfill your goals. To help you get started, consult someone, someone you respect. Ask for 5 minutes of their time, tell them about your goals, and let them know that you're unsure of how to get there. Listen to any advice they offer to get measurable steps you can go after. 4. Start taking those steps. Give yourself some time to take those steps. Time is a key factor in creating change and building up a habit. The more time you dedicate to something, or the more time you give yourself to achieve something, the more manageable your goal becomes, and the less stressed you are to achieve them. Give yourself enough time to start reframing your mindset and pursuing that goal. 5. Report your accomplishments to someone. Even if you feel like you did nothing for an entire week, subconsciously, because you have told yourself you will do it, you're constantly working towards your goals in the background, even if you think you actually did nothing. However, if you look closely enough, you will start to see changes in your own behavior. Take note of these changes and how they might be contributing to your goal, then report it to someone, maybe even the person you consulted in the beginning. The purpose of reporting is to make your actions measurable. Six. Start researching solutions on your own. Now that you've finally started to get back into the groove of things and no longer feeling down and hopeless about yourself, you will now have more energy to figure out the steps you personally want to take to get closer to your goals. You may feel more motivated to think and research on your own now, instead of letting someone else tell you what you should do. Coming up with a game plan on your own will help you develop the independence you need to start relying on yourself. 7. Again. Tell yourself you will give yourself a good amount of time to apply the new strategies you've thought of, and repeat steps 4 to 6. 8. After you feel like you've done everything you can think of, it's time to find a professional. Now that you've finally committed to your goals, it's time to move a little faster. Find an expert in the field, someone who's actually gotten to or past where you want to be, and get their help. Whether it's taking lessons from them or working under them as an intern, it's important to gain experience through the eyes of someone who's working in the environment you want to be in. Good job getting this far. 9. Continue gaining experience through the professional you decided to work with. This is a period where you should shadow your coach. You should watch what they do, get involved with their activities, and hopefully you'll start to know what it's really like to be doing what you dreamed of. 10. Lastly, don't give up. The most important step is to never give up. Giving up is like starting over from square one, and everything is about momentum. You might not notice small changes or improvements, but they're happening. Have any of you hit a rough patch? If you've already gotten past it, what are the steps you took to get back on your feet? Feel free to share your stories or advice in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our website and other social media, as well as our new Patreon account for more content. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching!